Hey everybody and welcome to another craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to check out my website listed down below. It's corinneblackstone.com. You can sign up for my newsletter, check out my free SVGs, check out my shop, lots of fun things over there. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do acrylic tie-dye. Now, I like to do a splatter paint version, but you can really do any kind of version of tie-dye that you want to with this method. This is really fun, and I know you guys are going to ask if this washes out. It does not. If you've ever gotten acrylic paint on your shirt before and tried to wash it out, it doesn't come out. This is a really fun technique that you can do. It's fun, it's messy, and you can do this with the whole family. Now, I did mine using a sublimation design, but you can absolutely do yours using HTV. I just was really in love with this design, which I'll link everything down below that we're going to use, but you'll just need a few supplies. You'll need a light colored shirt. White is going to show the colors of your acrylic paint best, and you can use cotton, polyester, whatever you want. This is a polyester Cricut one. I got these on like super clearance, so I'm just trying to use them up. And then you're going to need some squeeze bottles. You can get them from the Dollar Tree, Michaels, Walmart, just about everywhere sells them. You'll need some acrylic paint in any color that you choose, and just some simple tap water or even water from the hose works great. It's a simple, fun thing that you guys can do, and I'm going to show you guys how fun it is. Let's get started. The first thing that we have here are some squeeze bottles. I got these from Michaels, and I'm actually reusing two of them. I just washed them out. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the tops off of all of these. And then we have our Craft Smart Paint. I'm just using all of like these fun neon colors. You can use any color that you want. Now, I, I know you guys are going to ask, what's the paint to water ratio? I don't know. I just sort of squeeze a bunch of paint in, and then I um, just kind of guess. So obviously, the more paint you have in your squeezy bottle, and the less water, the brighter your colors will be. But the other problem is when you do it like that, your shirt may be a little bit stiffer. So you may need to kind of play with your ratios a little bit to see what really um, works for you and your um, design. So like I said, I don't really measure. I just sort of give it a good squeeze. And then I fill the bottle, not all the way up. So let me go ahead and get all of these squeezed out. And I just wanna make sure this one's a little bit icky. So let me, I'm gonna go ahead and shake these again. Um, I shook them just a few minutes ago, but like that yellow came out a little funky. So I'm gonna shake them real quick. I just shook them, but. We'll shook them again. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow in here since that one's kind of icky, just to give it the right like mixed part. So let me go ahead and fill these with some paint and then I'll show you guys how to kind of mix the paint and the water. Once you've got some paint in here, all I'm gonna do is just mix this with some regular tap water. I use cold, but I just don't think it matters. And what I wanna do is not fill the bottle all the way up. I do wanna leave some space so that when I shake it, it can shake, and I can always add a little bit more paint or water depending on the look I'm going for. If I put a little too much in, you can just pour it out. That's okay. And then I just wanna shake them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these with water. Just a little, not all the way. Like I said, I just leave a little bit of space because I think I'm gonna need to add a little bit more yellow paint perhaps because the yellow is gonna be a lighter color. So that's the other thing. The lighter the color, the more paint you're probably gonna wanna put in. Like I can already tell, I'm probably gonna want some more blue paint, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit more blue paint in here. Then make sure that you put your lids on nice and tight. Like I said, I'm reusing some, so there's a little bit of purple like paint on the outside of this, but that's okay. And all I'm gonna do is put my lids on. And like I said, put them on really, really tight. And you can do this in spray bottles, but I do find the spray bottles tend to um, clog. So then all I'm gonna do is just shake them up. And you can do this in spray bottles, but I do find the spray bottles tend to um, clog. So then all I'm gonna do is just shake them up. should give you a pretty good indication as to like what they're gonna look like when they come out. 
So you can see they're pretty bright. I don't think I really need to add any paint to any of them. I think they all look pretty good. So we're gonna go outside, because do not do this in the house, especially if you're doing the splatter paint. Um, and we're gonna get our shirt set up and then we can splatter paint it. Make sure, again, to do this outside. I put a piece of cardboard between my shirt. It helps with some of the bleed through. It's not necessary, but you can absolutely do that. It also helps hold your shirt a little bit flatter, especially on a grassy surface. You do wanna make sure that your shirt is laying pretty flat if you're doing a splatter paint version, um, but you can do any tie-dye version that you like, whether you like the scrunching or whether you prefer, um, you know, like a spiral, stuff like that. You can do that with the acrylic paint, but I like the splatter paint. So all I'm doing is just kind of taking the bottles and just flicking them at the shirt. I have them open and I'm squeezing just a little bit and then I'll kind of run them across it and it drips out really well from these bottles from Michaels. Now, don't worry if you get a little bit of paint on your design, that's okay. It will show through a little bit, but I kind of think it looks good. If you don't want the paint on your design or you're using HTV, make sure to cut out a piece of paper to cover up your design. If you get the paint on your HTV, it is going to stain it. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this, but I would definitely just say cut out a little piece of paper. The best part of this is you really can't mess it up because it's kind of whatever you wanna do with it. Now you're gonna to wanna to let the front dry for a little while. I usually let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes before I flip it over so that I can do the back. I do recommend just letting that dry so that none of the paint smears or anything. It shouldn't, but that little drying time is super important. And then you can see I have a little bit of bleed through, but not much, which is great. So just go ahead and you can do the back again in any way that you would like. Um, if you're doing any of the tie-dye methods, you wanna make sure that you do both the back and the front. And again, make sure that that shirt is laying nice and flat. That way you don't have any like white spots that you don't want necessarily if you're doing the splatter paint method. This is really fun, really easy. And again, so I'm just gonna let the back dry as well. I actually took it and hung it up for about an hour to make sure that it was fully, fully dry before I moved on to our next step. You're going to need to heat set your paint. So make sure that you allow it to dry for at least an hour, um, depending on how much paint you use, that may depend on how long it takes. So just be sure it's fully, fully dry before you move on to the heat set phase because it could smudge or it could also actually paint the inside of your dryer. So that's just something to keep in mind, but don't worry, this won't wash out. So we're gonna go ahead and heat set it and it's really fun. Once you've allowed this to dry completely, throw it in your dryer, heat set that bad boy on high heat for about 20 minutes. Here is the finished shirt. Now this one has not been washed in this video, but at the beginning of the video, it was washed. Just so you know, because it does look a little bit stiff in some of these pictures. Your shirt may come out a little bit stiff where the paint is, but once you wash it a time or two, it softens right up. Like I said, you can see where the paint splattered into the design, but I actually really like the look. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you guys had so much fun checking out this fun little technique. It's really, really fun. And if you guys do something like this, please tag me. I want to see what you guys do. You're so creative and it's so fun to see everybody's interpretation of these different techniques. I hope you guys had so much fun. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and happy crafting.